Let's begin. So this is our IoT based home automation project. So first we will control the bulb through this app. Same way off. Okay. Next thing is uh, if something comes uh, in front of this PIR sensor, it will make alert. And other features of this project are it's showing temperature 32 degrees Celsius, humidity 37 percent, and gas value in ppm. So this one is one sensor MQ2. So it will show leakage of gas and this knob will move clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay, anti-clockwise. So I removed, it will be okay. So this is Arduino. We are using three relays. So I will connect relay here. Relay one, relay two, relay three. And on these pins, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, LCD I am using. Like LCD we have some uh, pins, RS, enable, D4, D5, D6, D7. These pins for transferring data. This is for ISO select and this is for enabling the device. And one kilo ohm resistance on pin number 3 is used to vary the contrast. Okay, and on this side we have gas sensor. And uh, servo motor to lock the regulator or to close or open the regulator. Okay, so these are the pins we are mainly using here. And Wi-Fi, we can add here. Okay. And uh, one app will be there using remote XY. And on app, on GUI, we can generate some buttons like for fan, for bulb, bulb 2, like TV, laptop, charging, anything we can write here. And one alert for notification and one PIR sensor is also there. I forget PIR sensor. Okay, so these are the pinouts of the circuit. Okay, now let's see video further. So this one is code of a project. This is your remote XY. You have to include the library. Define remote XY debug. These are the libraries which we have to insert. Then this is the token from your app generated then this one is the SID password and uh, we have to which we have to create and this is the bot at which we can see the serial communication between project and computer and then we have this GUI which we have created and G the GUI we have these readings from the website of remote XY we have to insert all things then uh, remote XY then this servo motor header file then position initially is zero then LCD we have to connect 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. These are the pins of uh, Arduino. We have to connect LCD RS to Arduino 7 number pin. LCD enable to pin number 8. LCD uh, D4, D5, D6, D7 to Arduino pin number 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are the connections. Okay. Then we have standard and proper library integration. Then DHT11. Then DHT11 we have to connect to A0. This is DHT11 sensor which we have to connect to A0 sensor. Uh, A0 uh, to microcontroller A0. Then we have uh, IJK some variable and DHT11 again. Then setup we have to initiate the things like DHT sensor, yes sensor. Then the two, three, four as a output we have to take relay is output. And initially we have given it high. On high input it will be off. And when we give low it will be on. Okay. After that we have loop, wide loop. 
uh, in this loop, the project will be forever running. It is just like a C language while one. Okay, it's an endless loop. So I will be the variable which will store the value of humidity. Then temperature, which is K is your this gas sensor. Then we have all these uh, LCD characters written here. We have to like write it. Like we have to go to a different cursor. Like eight zero. Like eight zero means initial position is zero zero. Then T is written. Okay. After that, when we come to eight and zero, then H is written. Means it's the eighth position of the cursor. Okay. Same way it will be like uh, if value is K value is more than this, so we have to put this to three hundred. Okay, why 300? Because servo motor will move accordingly. Because it, uh, you must have seen, uh, it is not, it was not uh, working because it was waiting for the 600 value. Okay, 600 ppm. So once it passes this 350, it will uh, rotate the servo motor. So let's this speed same. You can change it. Okay, and uh, you have to use sensor uh, like uh, uh, not so much like if you put gas value if it is stored inside so it will always show some more values but right now it is showing 79 it's okay mm -hmm. if it is stored something is fallen on this like petroleum like alcohol so it will permanently show the value of 300 400 and also one thing this always heats if you touch it try to touch it it's heating it's so almost 40 degree 45 degree what it is doing it is evaporating the uh, sensors uh, this uh, alcohol or something like that okay now the next thing is uh, these are the condition if temperature and these values are more alert will be for any value like if uh, room temperature is more than 40 degree it's maybe fire if uh, humidity is more than 70 degree uh, 70 percent it will again and for this condition also so it will show alert on this right now it is showing alert because i'm moving my hand here that's why next thing is a2 uh, these are the uh, different pins a2 is high or low other things also we can add here then these are the switch we have to send values low high low high if the push switch on remote x5 gives the value zero then three will be low otherwise it will be high low high low high this, this is for the relay module okay so that's the explanation of course Hello everyone, we are from Zyla Technologies, New Delhi, India. We develop research-based software and hardware projects and products globally. Zyla Technologies has the largest collection of projects. On our website, you can get services like unique engineering projects, science projects, M-Tech PhD thesis guidance, self-learning kits, ready-made projects, hardware components, drone-related services, software and simulations, research paper writing and publications in top journals and conferences. We also provide patent-related services. So to upgrade your knowledge, you can join our channel. For more details, please check the description. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.